Ben Franklin, one of the wisest men who ever lived, used to, when he was confronted with a decision, he would draw a line down a sheet of paper, and on one side, he would write reasons for, and on the other side, he would write reasons against. You draw the line down a sheet of paper, and then you lead off by saying the major problem you're having uh, is you are saying it costs. Now, why do you bring out the first and major one? Very simple. That's on their mind. They're going to bring it up anyhow. You will diffuse a lot of it if you bring it up first. The second thing uh, that you've objected to was the fact that the timing uh, is not just right. Now, there's a whole lot of reasons uh, for getting it. First of all, you have really stressed the fact that you really like it. You've also stressed the fact that you really want it. You've also acknowledged the fact that it would save you a considerable amount of money over a period of time. You have also said that it would save you a lot of work. You go right down the list, and uh, you should be able to put at least ten good reasons why this should go ahead. Then you say, can you think of any other reason for not going ahead? Now, we've overwhelmed them, so to speak, here, because you've had their cooperation. You provided them two, and they probably cannot come up with another one. Then they say, well, no, I can't think of any other reason. Then you simply smile and say, well, folks, you know, it would be so wonderful if everybody I deal with took the logical approach to making decisions which you have taken. 